another Steve Henry show. Yes, we got technology issues. We're about four minutes behind, but that's okay. We bought a bunch of new Apple, Apple stuff this week and uh, plugging it in. You know how that works. It's smarter than we are. Or are we smarter than that? I'm not really sure, but welcome everybody. I am so glad you're here because today we have, that's right, the Flamin' Raymond of nachos. Now, I know you've gone to a bar. Well, maybe not. You've gone to a restaurant or a facility that serves food and has uh, had a nacho before. Nothing like what you're going to see here today. You will see something that we've introduced called tortware. That is uh, all edible food. Uh, everything that we do here at this show is basically edible. Everything that we serve, uh, you won't see a spoon. If you do, it's going to be made out of a carrot or a pepper, as in today, or a ladle. Uh, it's all food oriented. We try to we try to go for that wow effect. This show caters to a party, uh, a menu of like six people. So what you're doing, you're crafting. Uh, we're going to have a party, or we're going to have friends over, or the neighbors, or the or whoever, the boss. Hey, wow, now there's an idea. We're gonna have six people over and we're going to have a wow party. And that's what you get here at the Steve Hunter Show. We take an ordinary item, a menu item, an entree, or an appetizer, or a dessert, and we make that thing go wow. We also give away a little money if you're new to the show. Uh, we want you to make a, a comment. Go in there and say, hey, Steve, I'm here. When you do that, your name gets put into a spin. We spin that bad boy. Uh, three, maybe four. Sometimes I might be talked into, maybe you'll talk me into it today, baby. Huh? And I got donkeys hanging. Have you seen this set today? Man, I'll tell you what, it is, uh, we spend a lot of time on this, and each week we try to raise that bar, bar, bar. This is what I want you to do at home, too, if you can. A little Hobby Lobby, a little Michaels, a little Walmart. You know, for about a hundred bucks or less, you can put together a place where people literally sit and just look before they eat, before they eat. That's amazing. A lot of people just eat and then they look later. This is a design for, wow, check all this stuff out and then they eat. So, uh, new to the show, we also do something spectacular about every 10 weeks. We give a Jeep Patriot away. We are in the car business. We uh, are able to shop across the country for uh, our flagship vehicle, which is a Jeep Patriot, uh, a five-seater automatic four-cylinder. We give one of these away about 10, about every 10 weeks. Again, how do you get in? I, I want one of those. Well, we've given six away so far. We're looking for number seven. And we've uh, looked at a lot of different places. I'm thinking coastal this time, maybe. That's a possibility. Uh, boy, uh, that would be nice. We've done ev all the inland spots, but we have not been to a coastal region yet. So I don't know if that's a hint or a clue, but we like the coastal uh, possibilities there. So we give this Jeep away. How do you get the Jeep? Well, you just go to the new Steve Henry show. You put your name in there and your real name, not your stage name. By the way, be real careful. We, um, when you put your comments in there, we, we have so many people now, so many Anitas, so many Bobbies, so many Johns that uh, sometimes we get it wrong. Uh, but uh, hopefully everybody got their checks on time. Those get mailed out on Monday. If you win and spin on Saturday, you'll get a check in the mail on Monday uh, in time for the next week's show. We also do a midweek video. That's on Thursdays, typically. It's about a minute or two. Uh, we had the little sombrero and the mustache. We try to festivize, that's a word, festivize, chip, that's a word. We try to festivize a, uh, uh, a meaning for the, the theme for the show upcoming on Saturday. So all that said, um, nachos are not that old. 1943 was the year. A gentleman by the name of Ignacio Anaya was a chef at a place called the Victory Club in northern Mexico. He's about four o'clock in the afternoon, feeling pretty good, about time to get a cold one, you know, and then in walks about 14 count them 14 army wives and they're hungry and he's like oh what am I gonna do what am I gonna do so he goes and he chops up some tortillas and he puts some cheese on them, throws them in the oven brings them out and says here you go ladies and uh, they're saying well what is this well it's just it's cheese and uh uh, cheese and tortillas. And he said, well, what's your name? It's Ignacio. He said, well, did you, did you know that's nacho in Spanish or also slang nacho? So this guy, Ignacio Anaya, in 1943, literally invented what we're going to see today uh, on the wheel, and that is the nacho, after his own name, nacho. A little bit of education comes, and then we do a preparation, and then we slide into the presentation when that is the best thing i want to say a couple words to my good friend michelle in canada recently lost her mother michelle we are pulling for you babe we love you we love all of you here at the show by the way this is your show it's not mine it originates from god he presents these ideas in my head and i put forth the uh the effort and hopefully pass it on to you and you could pass it on to somebody else and make make their night or their day and go wow that's the whole idea of this thing is but it all originates from above is that still the mirror on the ceiling on ice pink champagne and that's from a show we did about five weeks ago. That, that mirror is still there. It's going to come crashing down on my head one day, probably. But anyways, there's still a mirror up there. Uh, we got pinatas. We got all kinds of stuff today. But we are going to cook. It is a cooking show. Um, we also give, like I said, a lot of stuff away because all the proceeds after paying the bills, which hasn't happened yet, go to you. Now, can you imagine just for a moment 
We've been doing this now for about nine months, this cooking show. It originated in April of last year after I <laughs> survived the COVID experience, but that was fun. You know, anybody who says, yeah, I think I had it in February. No, no, you would know if you had the damn stuff in February. Trust me on that one. Five days in the hospital. But nonetheless, uh, I, it was crafted in April, so it's about nine months old. And I don't remember where I was going with this. That's a med problem when you get 62 too. What was I thinking or saying, but I'm not sure. But bottom line is, it's about nine months old. So the show itself is a cooking show, okay? But it is your show. We've yet to make uh, a lot of money on YouTube. We are in the 0.25 percentile though, of those that do make money, which is very small. There aren't a lot of people making money on YouTube. And one day we are gonna make a lot of money. And guess where that money's gonna go? After all the bills are paid, it's going to you. The example of that is we haven't made that much money yet. And look at what we're doing. We're giving away Jeeps. I can't wait to have a Jeep party. All those that have won Jeeps, we're gonna meet somewhere. How about Vegas? Uh, we got so many big plans for this show because it's your show. Every one of you that are watching this show and every one of the subscribers that get on after the show. By the way, if you missed this show, we have the replay version of the live version shortly after. You can't win any money or play in the uh, games that we give away, but you can see the original live show and its full content right after the live show. All right, enough said. We talk too much. We're going to light some burners. Um, uh, something else, too, when I say light burners, this is a office. This is, office belongs to a guy by the name of Dave Wilcox. He works here Monday through Friday selling cars. He, um, he um, is in the car business, and Dave... Uh, allows us to overtake his office on Saturdays. So if we come in here on Friday night after we kick his booter out, uh, and about five o'clock we start setting up the set. So this is not a kitchen. Uh, you know, the Gordon Ramseys and the Martha Stewarts and all those fine people have a beautiful kitchen ensemble. Well, we're literally a portable situation here. We have the Coleman stove burner and we have everything portable. So, but it makes for a, a very interesting experience. I, I wanna show this, cause you can do this anywhere. We've done this on the trunk of a car. We're heating up some olive oil, uh, loved ones. This is going into a skillet and what we're going to do is we're going to do a, there's about six different nachos that we are versions of nachos that we make from the basic ground beef ho-hum we were going to show you that but i thought no no uh you know chipotle we have green chili chicken but today you are in for the treat because we're doing a fajita nacho the fajita there's six of them when we did this uh, cookbook and we ever get that launched yeah, when's that gonna be? But when that is launched, you'll see all six versions of our nacho. So we're gonna start off in the skillet, we're gonna start off with the olive oil, and we're just gonna brown some filet and some ribeye. Uh, we love ribeye here uh, for the nacho. This is seasoned a little bit already, but uh, again, the digital downloads will give the clue to all of that. The cameras in the back should be working flawlessly in presenting a clear uh, picture for you. This is a little on the uh, slanty side, as again, this is very primitive. Uh, very slippery. Uh, the seasonings of the uh, new Steve Henry show comprise of about four ingredients. We're going to use that. That gives that that uh, beautiful seasoning. We're going to saute just a little bit here. Watch the donkey. We catch the donkey on fire. We got a seven foot ceiling and it's going to be fun putting that bad boy out. So we're doing the uh, fajita. Now what is the fajita? Well, if you've been to a restaurant before, similar to that of a Philly cheesesteak, it is the beef the ribeye sauteed nice and brown. Then we're gonna add the bell pepper, mushroom, I'm sure, bell pepper and onion. Now the green pepper is the one we hold back a little bit on. And the reason for that is, uh, aside from the red pepper and the yellow and the red uh, and the orange, the, uh, the green pepper has a grassy aftertone, if you notice. If you ever bite into a green bell pepper, you'll notice that uh, it's different from all the rest. The, all the rest are kind of sweet and have a very succulent flavor. We're gonna put the uh, peppers in. Now, again, this is just a uh, light green pepper and a very heavy uh, red pepper, orange pepper, and yellow pepper with a purple onion. We like purple onion, uh, mainly because of its sweetness and its color. We look for a lot of color. And so as this gets sauteed up nicely, uh, again, this is the uh, fajita. Now, fajita nacho, think about that for a second. As you lay a chip down with some cheese and you sprinkle it with the fajita, Okay, and some more cheese. Did you know that 33%, it's right here, right here, 33% of the people ask, what else would you put on your nacho after you get your nacho? It's more cheese, baby! And that's what we're gonna do. This ensemble here, if you're looking at what this, what is that? With cheese, that's right. We're gonna put not only sprinkled cheese on there and torch that bad boy, we're going to actually drizzle more cheese because that's what 33% of you say, we want more cheese! All right, cool, more cheese. And then of course the presentation, once this is all done, we have something we've introduced once before. It's called tortware. We, we uh, actually designed this on the set, oh gosh, probably four months ago. It is literally tortilla 
uh, tort wear. You get it? There's farmer wear, there's uh, silver wear. Well, this is tort wear, as in tortilla wear. It is literally a tortilla compote, if you will, and uh, the lid that goes with it, the handle, as you see, is a pepper. It's a festive thing, you know, and it's got the handle. The handle's got the ladle or the spoon or the spatula. Uh, in this case, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. About 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes on this meat. That's all getting acquainted. They're all getting married here, the pepper and the onion and the and the meat and the seasonings are all getting acquainted there. That will be uh, laid on the top of the cheese. So can you imagine for a moment, before we actually lay this out, can you imagine what a fajita nacho with a cold one would taste like? Or if you're in a whiskey bar, maybe a little whiskey with a big rock. Now, how about that? That sounds pretty good too. All right, or if you're one of uh, a non-alcoholic, there's plenty of um, nice beverages, a cold soft drink would work well. As I mentioned, this is a double boiler. You'll see a pineapple split in half with a candle. Now that candle will apply the heat, which will apply the water to get it warm, which will put into our beautiful cheese. And I'm gonna light that here in just a moment. And uh, it's already warm, but time is a constraint here. All right, our meat is done. We've got about seven minutes on this. We're gonna go ahead and shut the burner off. Now, the purpose of this is to, now this is gonna be the final display. Now, you're gonna have what we call the mothership of nachos. That's what we're gonna serve from. We're literally gonna serve it on a, yes, tortware. We have plateware. This is our plate. Every guest that you have is going to get a plate. It's literally a tortilla shell, but that's gonna house or encompass your nacho as you build your own nacho. And that's what this is, a build your own nacho buffet, or buffet, 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 no. All right, we got all kinds of phase. How about that? All right, so this is uh, nothing more than a carousel. We've been using this for the last four or five weeks. I kind of like the idea. Now, uh, a little radish rose handle. Is that not cool or what? You lift that bad boy up and what you got underneath there is a compote waiting for something. And what is it waiting for, Steve? It's waiting for the fajita. Yeah, so here we literally will put the fajita meat into, and this is nice and hot. Now, you know when you have a fajita come to your table, it's literally uh, sizzling on a platter. Well, this is close, this is very close. All right, so that's all there. And again, this has never been done before. I, I don't think I've ever done this here before, uh, uh, anywhere, quite frankly. So we're all learning together, but nonetheless, we're gonna keep that hot. And what happens is that's that radish rose, and there is where your fajita meat is stored. Now, we'll build our own nacho, and this is, again, the mothership of all nachos. We use two types of tortillas. Now, you don't want to just go with the standard corn. That is just so weak. I mean, is that not weak? It's a flavor that you want, but you don't want to have just corn. You want to have flour. And the reason for the flour is the flour, as you can see, uh, you, you dovetail these in half. And what happens is you form a little pocket. Well, what is that pocket for? <laughs> yeah, you can only imagine what that pocket's for. Yeah, it's for the fajita and the cheese and more cheese. And then, of course, we'll get to our condiments, which are laid so eloquently done in the, uh, in the tortware. So as we build this out, uh, you can, again, do this at home, and I'm hoping that that's what you plan to do. Now, maybe some people, I, I'm getting some comments. Well, Steve, I don't know six people. You know, I get that when somebody buys a car. I have to have six references, and, and I get that look like, huh, six? I, I have to know six people? Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, for somebody who, for me, to, to fathom that somebody doesn't know six people, mother, brother, aunt, uncle, you know, relative. Um, how about the neighbors? You know, that sort of thing. So there's all kinds of ways you can get to six people. But in the event that you just have perhaps, I don't know, um, three or four people, you can still do all these recipes uh, with three or four people. Obviously, just scale it down a little bit, right? That's all you got to do. So we are just interlaying some corn. Uh, there's no method to the madness here, although there is a lot of madness. There's a lot of madness. Boy, I tell you, is, is it rough out there or what? I tell you, I don't know if it's me, maybe it's just me, but I don't know. Driving, I mean, when, when COVID was underway, the only good thing about COVID was there was no traffic, right? Love that, man. I could spiel out there, no, uh, no, uh, law, no law enforcement, no, no nothing, man. 80 and a 40, no problem, right? Now, you're lucky to do 15 and a 65. It's crazy. And uh, so, madness. Um, I don't know where I was going with that one either. But anyways, we are fulfilling our obligation here by uh, putting uh, just a layered amount of a combination of flour and corn. And again, there is no method. There was there had method to the madness. So as you spin that around, you can see the, uh, uh, the full effect of where we're going here. Um, have we ever had a casualty on the live set? Yeah, we have. We started four minutes early today. That's not a big deal. I, uh, I dropped some cocktail sauce um, charcuterie board on somebody's boots here about, what, six months ago on Tori's boots. Hey, Tori, if you're watching, I, I love you, buddy. I miss you uh, if, you're, if you're watching. All right, so that is 
that's where I want to build this thing. You see that? Now, from now on, we're just going to go crazy here. We're going to lift that up again, and that is our fajita meat, okay? Now, you know where that's going when this is all done and said, or done and said, or said and done. All right, now the cheese part. We are just going to layer cheese, and according to the records, the cheese, look at that sombrero. Now, that is tortware also. That, loved ones, is a sombrero. I didn't get a chance to put the red on that. I'm busy today. You know, people, just, it's tax time, Steve. Well, yeah, uh, just nag, nah, well, I say nag, nah, uh, that's how I kind of feel about the car business right now. It's a tough business, as in any business is. But uh, hey, the food business is alive and well, baby. Yeah, and that's what we're shaking, shaking trees for here at YouTube. I want to do this full time, loved ones. How can you help me do this full time so you win too? Because this is your show, your channel. Let's just park the numbers and put them in overdrive and gun that ship. Uh, play those commercials. I know. Don't be a dipper or skipper. It's a skipper. Yeah, be a skipper, okay? Because when you skip, uh, when you don't skip and you play that commercial too, I don't know what the revenue breakdown, 45, 55, he bitty, he bitty, he bitty. Yeah, I used to be an auctioneer too, but that was a long time ago. But nonetheless, Bottom line is the revenue comes in. The more revenue, I'm telling you, top line to the bottom line equals you. And if I could do this, it, when you hear me one day say, come on, and uh, it'll be the first thing I announce, I guarantee you, it'll be in the announcements. Uh, it'll be something like, um, hey, I got some great news for everybody, and I'll be smiling. Yeah, we're gonna do this full time. And when we do this full time, you know what that means? I'm probably gonna sit there and spin until six o'clock one night, just giving the $200 checks out. That's what I wanna do. I don't wanna keep any of this, I wanna give it all away. So, the incentive, tell a friend, share it with everybody you can. Um, <clears throat> not being market wise here, but just, you know, do that, and the quicker, the quicker, whoa, the quick. hey, how about we light it? I, I bet I could get this thing to come alive. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. Just kidding. All right, so um, do that, and we can explore this together and grow in leaps and bounds. You've got about four minutes. If your name is not in the comment section, uh, my screen is blank. I'm literally flying IFR today. Well, there's no, I have no, the cord there, there's no telling me it was no good. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, here we go. We're going to start light. This is a, a torch that you can get um, anywhere. We prefer uh, Lowe's, don't we, Michael? And what we're doing now is we're just going to flame this bad boy uh, and melt that cheese, get that cheese acquainted. Again, we've never done this before here, so this is kind of interesting as we spin it around. Uh, I hear somebody already saying, more cheese, more cheese. All right, well, more cheese. All right, so we are literally uh, getting the cheese acquainted. Now, I want you to do this at home. This is exactly, I don't want you to put this nacho ensemble in an oven. I want you to literally be cool, have a little cold one in one hand, and go around and get that cheese acquainted. Oh my God, it not only looks good, it smells good. And you know, if we had smell a vision a lot of people say, hey, we need smell a vision here. We are literally melting the cheese, getting it acquainted. We're gonna put some more on there, just for the heck of it. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Look, is this not, now this is the way to do a nacho, loved ones. I'm telling you, I, you, you don't wanna put this in an oven. You literally wanna just hold this close to your neck and just, oh, Lord have mercy. Now, uh, somebody's already freaking out. No, oh, you're gonna burn us. No, I'm not gonna burn you down. This donkey, I literally, I can bet you I can make that thing talk. <laughs> Woo, baby, a talking donkey. A stuffed talking donkey. Okay, more cheese is what's needed here. Let's just use the whole pile of cheese. Pile of sh cheese, I said. God, you guys are tough on me. I heard that. My God, pile of cheese, okay. All right, we're just gonna make a mess because that's what we do, we make a mess. All right, so there's your chips, there's your cheese, there's everything. One more time on the lighter. Let's get that thing lit. I'm, I'm warning you, buddy. That donkey, and, how about you? You want some of this too, bud? Woo -hoo, I can give you some too, buddy. Yeah, talk about a fire in the house, fire in the house. All right, so the reason why this is on a carousel is because we can spin it and just kind of keep everything close by. All right, so we're gonna melt this bad boy just like so. Loved ones, you don't know what you're missing. You got to do this at home. If somebody doesn't do this tomorrow after watching one of our shows, uh, my God, look at that. That is just incredible. I am literally crafting the perfect nacho. You've heard of the perfect storm. This is the perfect nacho. No, we're not catching anything on fire. I'm thinking about it, though. These donkeys are talking to each other. I hope he doesn't get too crazy with that thing. You know I will, buddy. After the show, I'm going to torture your sorry butt. All right, so... Uh, I think you get the idea, okay? We're gonna do this, we'll go around one more time, but you can see the idea here. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, that's the idea. All right, that's, I'm having way too much fun with that spin zone. Now we're gonna go ahead and light the double burner. The double burner is right there. That's a candle. Now that candle is going to actually allow us to warm up the cheese, which is gonna sit right there. 
And again, this is a pretty cool ensemble too. Two pineapples cut in half, wedged in with a, with a, a beautiful candle that's lit and the water was of course hot. <laughs> it was hot earlier. Um, and look at the flared onions. Aren't those pretty? That's a razor blade shocked in some ice water with your scallions. And that produces a beautiful curl and swirl. Remember I put a bumblebee in one of those about uh, four weeks ago. That was pretty cool too, Adam and Olive. Carved that out there and kind of yeah. put it in there. All right, so our cheese is getting warmed up. Now, we are going to go ahead and lift off the uh, top portion of this. That is our uh, fajita, if you remember. We're gonna grab our uh, tortware, and the time is now up for the comment section. If you do not have your name in the comment section, you will not, repeat, will not win $200 today. Uh, I am in a pretty good mood, and uh, not that I have the extra money, but you know what? I know people are hurting out there, and I, I know this little, it's not a lot, but a little bit helps. If I got a $200 check and I, I needed it, wow, that would be very cool. So uh, again, uh, what you would do is, very, oh my God. Now, what kind of cheese you're asking? Steve, what kind of cheese? You don't tell us nothing. You're making us wait to the, the digital downloads. You're just, a, you're just like all the others. No, I'm not. I really am not. No, I, I might be. No, I'm not. We're not, we're not, we're not an imposter. They're, they're imposters. So what I'm doing basically here is just building a, just for you to get an idea, a, a nacho plate, okay? Now this is what your, your guests would do, or even your family. I mean, do you love your family? Did you hear me? Do you love your family? <laughs> yeah, depends on who uh, the uncle is ours. He's kind of a crazy guy. We're not sure about sure. Okay, anyways, um, that's enough. I, I think I've got, you got the idea. This is a, a combination of both the uh, corn and the flour. Now, isn't that great? Now, that's plain. That's that's no uh, no shirt on, okay? We're gonna come over here and we got the fajita mix. Now, the fajita mix, kind of just you spread that on there like so. And again, I'm hearing the the, uh, the comments. Yes, we need more cheese. You, you just wasted all the cheese. No, I I did not. No, I did not. The spinner is here. Do me a favor. Just bring that spinner right there. There is. I don't know where I'm going to put this spinner. I'm going to put it on the donkey's back. He's going to. You thought, you thought fire was your biggest enemy. <laughs> Where do you put 20 pounds of brass? I'm, I, you and me are going to have a problem here. All right, time is up. That is it. If your name is not in the comment section, you have lost out today. All right, so now what do we do? What do we do now, Steve? Well, we put more cheese on it. That cheese. Uh, ooh, it's nice. That is warm. Feel how warm that is. Let's look at this. And so. That was not me. It was the cheese. It was this thing's got you know. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's just kind of how that goes. That goes right back into the warmer. Now again, look at that candle ensemble. That is cool. That's a double boiler uh, made out of pineapple. Like I said, everything in the show is edible. Now, careful of that. Oh boy, boy, boy. Okay, now um, I am going to very carefully take the lids off these, um, and I'm doing this from afar with some bad shoulders. What we have here, loved ones, is your your uh, your condiment section. Okay, you've got a green and a red. If you want to take that one off, that'd be great. There's your guacamole, and of course, you get your sour cream. Again, these are all. If I were on the other side of this platform, I'd be pulling these off with the lids. But again, you get the idea. The lids, the tortilla, the the handle. The oh, it's all edible. It's lovely. We have the guacamole, and look at the ladle there. Now that ladle presentation is just like, and pardon my hand here, but you would just literally scoop that, you know, as you would. I'm just gonna be real careful here and not tip anything over, but again, you get the idea. Look at that, that is a carrot that uh, actually uh, works as a uh, spatula, okay? So there's your spatula, that's edible, you can eat that. If you catch somebody eating it, one of the kids eating your spatula and double dipping and putting it back in there, yeah, kick that boy or girl out of the room because that's an acceptable practice. We don't double dip here. Nonetheless, uh, we've got the salsa, the green, the red, and the sour cream. You get the idea. You would build that nacho out to how you want it, and there you go. You got your own plate. Is that not, that is just awesome. Uh, a little green on there, sure. We could put a little green chili. Uh, our, our executive producer, he is from Mexico City, so I know he likes all of this. There's a little red. Oh, yeah, there's some red. Oh, my goodness, just shake that bad boy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And a little dab. We can well, get the idea of the sour cream. Can you reach it without knocking it? It's tough. And you see the handles on these pots. Yeah, I'll take that from there. Perfect. And basically, what you do is just shake that bad B right there. And we put that back there. And bad B stands for bad boy, by the way. Okay, so anyway, here's a nacho. That is kind of a nacho. That is how you would, and I'll make this up here so you can actually see this in its uh, done form. Loved ones, when you present this, to one of your people or all six of your people or whoever, I promise you, they will go, wow, that is, that is cool. That is really cool. And it is cool. Um, this is what you can do with food. This is what our channel is all about. It is a food show, but not just any food show, a food show where we take a normal, ordinary entree, dessert, appetizer type of item and we glorify that. Now, again, what I would finish this off with would be some chopped olives and a little chopped green onions to put a little color in there and boom, 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 and you got that cheese. thing. And, oh, more cheese, oh, Lord have mercy. Well, you just wanna hear me go.
and I'm not gonna do it because I know what that is. Yeah, okay, all right, here we go. Is that enough? All right. <laughs> You rotten rascals. I love you guys. I do love you guys. I don't know if you want to hear me or hear the cheese or see the cheese, but anyways, we got that. All right, it's time to spin, baby. And I'll tell you what, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put the spinner because the spinner is the best part of the show. Is it really? No, no, no. It's not. We're going to put the spinner up here. This is a 20-pound uh, brass spinner. We use this to spin every week the winners of, of the comment section. If you participated in the comments by saying, Steve, I'm here, then you are in here. We are running out of time. Wow. All right, let's get going. Spin this bad boy around. And we are going to stop here. <clears throat> uh, sometimes we spin once, twice, and I don't know. I'm just going to put this name right here. I pulled it kind of right out of the center portion there. This will be the first winner of the $200. I'll send this $200 check out to you on Monday. Ah, oh, man. Just, can you go, ahead, go, get, go get a cold... Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's eat first. No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Angie. I can't read this. Angie. Angie. Explorers. I don't know. I can't read that. Maybe you can read that. I can't read that. We're going to go to a black pen, a dark black pen. It's my eyes. It's my eyes. I'm a 62-year-old. All right. That's terrible. Can you read that? Angie Explores Health. There it is. Angie Explores Health. Health. Okay. That's going to be the call name. That's not somebody's real name, but that's okay. You know who you are, and that's all that matters. You have a $200 check coming to you on Monday. That's for sure. And, uh, oh, wow. This guy's kind of cool. This, this guy... I'm telling you, you're a customer, have been a customer of mine for, gosh, years. Um, the Lomas lot, you kind of wandered on there one Saturday afternoon. You get who I'm talking about here? I'll give you another clue. Okay, so you got to, you just brought your, your, your beautiful daughter. She's grown up. My God, I can't believe how fast these kids grow. You brought your daughter in here last time. Uh, you bought a red exterior. Now do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, Mark Cardenas or Cardenas. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. that give it up for Mark, though. He's the second, the winner of $200. Mark, congratulations. $200 goes to you, my friend. All right, let's go to number three. Number three, let's go. Come on, number three. Wham, we're out of time, we're out of time. Way to the right here. I'm gonna go clear over here to the right. And this will be number three. Number three, turn it upside down, do it right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now, I don't know who you are. This is an organization. <clears throat> and uh, it could be one of probably two or three different people. Beautiful people. Utah is where they call home. We met, gosh, one of the first weeks, or probably our food show was in operation. Uh, you flew down here on the bumpiest flight I think we ever saw. We got that on a video. By the way, that's a video. I know I'm running out of time, but who wants to win more money? Who cares? Shut up about the time, these damn producers. You know what? It's our show, right? That's right. Give it up for Recovery Addict. Yes, LT. I don't know if it's going to be you. You're going to have to fight the wife over that one too, my friend. You are the winner of the third, count of third, count of third, 200. All right, one more. Yeah, yeah, one more. Doggone it, my oh. Hey, ooh, somebody was sticking out of here. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't even do one more. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, it's all right. Lord, you'll find a way. God will always find a way to take care of us here. All right, here we go. Oh my God, Joe Biden? Is he watching today again? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joe Biden! Give it up for Joe Biden. No, I'm just kidding. You know, this girl here, you're lucky. You just won about five weeks ago. You're from Michigan. You're blonde. Yes, it's Lisa Rogers. Give it up for Lisa four times. Woo, woo. Ladies and gentlemen, loved ones, I have been on fire today, if you haven't noticed. There it is right there. You're lucky. You and me will talk after the show. Those are your four winners today. You will win. If you have not won yet, you will win. My quest is that everybody, everybody, everybody will win. One day, again, we have enough revenue uh, after everything's done. It's called the bottom line. I will sit here and spin this bad boy until six o'clock until everybody has a $200 check. That's how it goes. It's just how it goes. I love you. Next week, it's going to be green in here. We have the St. Patrick's Day party. That's right. we got to go tradition, corned beef and cabbage, but never have you seen corned beef and cabbage. Not only prepared, but presented the way you're going to see it next Saturday live at 4 o'clock here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I love you all. Thank you for watching today. I know we went way over. God bless you. Have a great week. Know this. You're loved. See you then.